What if it's possible Tupac was never Tupac, but he was Gandhi all along? I was tempted once again to stop planning what I was going to say, and then I said, Daniel, why would you want to distract what wants to be said? Part two. The real JP. Hi, notes. Breaking normal. Which brand can I plug next? <laughs> Oh, actually, no, this is Breaking Normal High Notes Awaken with JP. This Breaking Normal podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Breaking Normal. Which part of JP is here today, right mm. now, in this moment? It's a good question. Uh, I think the only way I can answer that is in plural form. Uh, there's a serious part of me, there's a satirical part of me, there's a curious part of me, there's an insecure part of me, there's a secure part of me. And probably super dysfunctional parts of me too. But all that that I mentioned, that's actually the functional parts of me. Is to me, creativity isn't becoming a dictator and controlling the universe around us. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just the opposite. Being a creator is being in a state of surrender and being of service and channeling the universe around us. The river of life that wants to live through you. I think we allow that to happen when we're able to be a little paradoxical, symbolic, and literal. Mm. Daniel's telepathically thinking that my answer got a little long there. Oh, I don't know if I was thinking that this time. That... Be careful of attachment. The more non-attached we can be to what works for us, the more what works for us will keep working for us because we, pardon my language, we let that shit go. So, so much to talk about, so much to talk about, and all the time that I want. You have all the time you want. you believe that? Do you believe you have all the time you want? It's a good question. <laughs> Part of me definitely doesn't believe that. It feels like time just goes by so fast. Yeah, definitely one of the things, like, I, I actually think about it on a daily basis is I'm afraid my life will go by and is going by faster than I can squeeze the juice and nectar out of it. Um, so I'm wondering, what about what we're taking in and how much that's influencing what we're saying and what we're thinking? Because our thoughts might be like a precursor to what we're saying. And this talking about hypnosis. Yeah. Bro, I'm so, I'm so uh, under the influence of my music. And that's why I choose my music so consciously. There is so much that I think we ingest, so much energy, consciousness, and ideas that we ingest in a three or four minute song. I think it's incredible to be mindful of it. It's like if you, walk, if you lived in a uh, candy store and you were eating candy all day, and someone said, do you have any idea what you're eating? And you're like, well, I didn't know I was eating it. <laughs> really? I, I, I didn't know. It's like, oh yeah, you, you weigh 600 pounds. You're not even a type 2 diabetic, you're like a type 3 diabetic. We had to invent a new level for you, buddy. And you're like, really? I didn't know I was eating. It's, it's like you got...